Okay, welcome back to my new uh, Matplotlib tutorial. In this video, I would like to explain how you can even plot really complicated files, which you have to pass first before you can do anything with that. Yeah, so if you, if you follow this video and you know how it works, you can actually plot every kind of data file which somebody gives you. So um, for that purpose, I created this file first by <clears throat> writing here into the terminal while true. So I'm creating actually a while loop in bash um, and then uh, in every step of this loop, I first write out the date, including the timestamp, into a file called temperature.txt. Then, in addition, the, the, the temperature of, um, of the cores of, um, of my computer, which is core 0 to core 3, four cores in total. And uh, then um, the, it sleeps five seconds, and then the loop starts again, and it writes out the date, then the uh, temperature of the course uh, and then sleeps again five seconds and so on. And I have done that already before to prepare this file and this you can see here. So we have here our temperature.txt and uh, here in the first line we have as I said the date, then all the sensor information are written out, uh, then again we have here the date, then all the sensor information, the date and so on. And now I want to explain how you can uh, plot the time on the x-axis and the um, temperature of maybe core zero uh, or any other core, of course, on uh, the y-axis. Uh, and this, as you will see, is not so difficult. With Python, this is actually very simple. And we will go now uh, through that whole process step by step. So we created here a new file, uh, which is called tutorial8.py. And well, of course, the first thing as usual, uh, what we have to do, sorry, uh, we have to write here import matplotlib um, pyplot as plt. And now um, we have to open, of course, the file, uh, our text file. And for this, we write here open uh, temperature.txt. If you want to learn more about how to open text files or ASCII files, you can uh, have a look at my Python tutorials also in addition. But uh, this is just the normal procedure, how you do that. And then uh, we can write here four line in F. So we loop now over all the lines in this text file. And uh, yeah, and then we can write, um, or we can first check whether it works. So we can print out every line and when we run our program, you will see now here the whole content of the text file has been given out here in the terminal. So it works uh, perfectly well. And now if we want to get access to a certain information in uh, or a certain piece of information in our text file, then uh, we can just write here uh, or insert an if condition, which is called if and then uh, in this case core zero double dot or column here. Yeah, this is um, the information here of, of core zero. And uh, if uh, if this is included um, in line, then we can print out the line only under this condition. And now you can see when we run the program, it Python rejects all the other lines and only the, uh, the temperature of core zero is now shown here in the terminal. So this also worked quite well. And this is already the parsing that we have to do. So now with this method, you can get all, uh, all things out of this file, whatever you want to have. But we will go now, of course, uh, also all the other steps until we have plotted that. So um, yeah, now after doing that, we can, um, yeah, we can now remove all the parts that we don't want from that line. So we can write here, uh, let's suppose we create a new variable, which we call core zero, uh, or maybe, uh, yeah, let's call it core, uh, core zero. Um, and then of course we want to split this. We can see we have here a lot of uh, spaces in between the values. So it would make sense uh, to first split our file and remove all the spaces. So when we do that here and we print uh, core zero, then you will see now we have here actually a list with all the entries uh, which are uh, taken from, from this line, but by uh, taking the, the spaces as a separator. So what we can do now, um, we want to take only the relevant information, which is this one here. 
So I counted that before, and this is actually the ninth item of this list which has been created. Now, so when we run this now, you can see now everything has been removed, only the temperature information is taken here into account. Then in addition, we can also strip that if we want to remove any further um, any further uh, spaces or line breaks. Now, so this also is done, but here in this case, maybe it was not necessary. And then we also want to get rid of the plus sign here and the temperature uh, temperature unit. So what we can do here is replace um, sorry, replace plus with nothing, and in addition replace uh, degree Celsius with nothing. And if we do that and run the program, you can see now only our double values remain. So this was quite simple. So now we have the, the temperature information, but we also want to have something about the time. So as you know, I mean, you can just apply the same things which you have, uh, which we have done before. So um, we have seen in our temperature.txt that all the lines, we could also write additional information out. But here in this case, um, we can see that all timings that we stored are starting with FR because it was done on a Friday today. So um, in this case, uh, we can make it easy. We can just write here if FR for Friday in line, if it exists in the same way how we have done it for core zero, then uh, we can have a look at this to check whether it worked. So print line and you can see now we have here the temperature information and also here the full date. But again, uh, the date is not so much important. We only want the time information here. So what we can do, um, we can uh, do the same what we have done before. We create a variable which we call time. And then we write here line split. And uh, again, we want to split the spaces um, with a separator space. Then um, in this case, I checked it before. We have to take the fourth item, uh, which means number three, including the zero. And then uh, again, we have to strip this, but this time we don't have to replace anything. Uh, so if we do that here, you can see now, uh, sorry, not line we want to print, but we want to print out the time actually. So when we do this now, we see that we have here the time and the core temperature. Uh, and the same we could also maybe do for core one, just as a uh, for testing, uh, for testing purposes. Sorry, I just uh, jumped to the other file. So here we can write if core one in line, core one print uh, core one temperature. And now you see we have here the time and in addition core zero and core one together. Yeah, and this is in principle everything what we have to do. Now we only have to find a way how to plot this in the most efficient way. Yeah, so of course we can just create a list uh, for x and y and we can insert or append these values to our list and then plot it. This is the easiest method which you already know how it works because we have done this a few times already in our series. But now I would also like to explain how to do it a little bit more efficiently. And for that purpose, um, I would like to include another uh, package which is called collections. Uh, with, yeah, uh, and in this collections uh, module, there is a module called order dict for order dictionary. And this I want to uh, include now by writing from collections, uh, import order dict. This is a very powerful package, as you will see, and you can also use it in the future for many purposes. And then we create a new object called data, and uh, this refers now to our order dict that we have included. Yeah. Okay, and uh, yeah, then what we can do, uh, we can go here to our time and create here a new dictionary, which we call maybe data, uh, because we want to store our data in that. And we have to insert, of course, the time. Uh, and uh, this should be an empty list for that time. Yeah, uh, because now we want to store in this list now core one and core, core zero and core one temperature. So what we have to do now here is write, uh, data time append core zero and here data time append core one. Yeah. And now after finishing everything, looping through the file, we can print out our data to see how the data is stored now. And you see, we get now here our order dict. 
dictionary and uh, then in the, the first item of that is always the, uh, t the, the time. And then here you see the core one and core zero temperature. Then again, the second, uh, the second item of that uh, dictionary is then again the time. And then we have here core zero and core one temperature and so on. Yeah? So this data is now easily plottable. Yeah? And for that, we just create an empty list for X and we just create an empty list for Y. And now we can loop over all the um, entries in our dictionary. So we can write here for time in data, let's suppose we call that time, but you can of course call it differently. And then you can write uh, x dot append and we want to append the time, uh, which is, as I said, uh, the zeroth entry here. And uh, then we also want to append um, the, the core zero temperature, let's suppose. So here in this case, we have to access the entry time and uh, then from that, the, f uh, the first one. Yeah? So we have, a, we have an array or a list with two entries and uh, we have to access uh, this one here and also then the first one, which would be in this case uh, core one. But of course we, I think we want to plot core zero. So maybe we can access the zeroth one, which would be this one. Okay, and now um, only to test whether it works it worked, we can print out uh, X and we can print out Y and see what happens in the terminal. And now you see, yeah, here for X, we have now our time information and for Y, we have our core zero temperature information. Yeah, so this also works well. And now the only last thing which we have to do, of course, we have to plot it and we have to, um, yeah, maybe we can save this as a figure and write here temperature.png. We don't want to show this, we want to save this only. And when we run through everything and we open now our PNG, and you see now here that we have um, our temperature information um, yeah, correlated with the, um, with the time information here. One should make the plot a little bit larger to really read all the times, or maybe you have to uh, find a way how to present the time in a, in a better way. But uh, here maybe we can write um, PLT figure fix size. This we learned already in, in one of the previous tutorials. Maybe we can make it quite large. Uh, we can increase the width a little bit. And uh, yeah, when we do that and uh, having a look at now the temperature, you can see it's still not enough. So maybe we can make it even, we can increase it even further. Um, yeah, now it's much better. So one can one can improve this. Yeah? So there are possibilities how to convert uh, then this format into time stamped and then uh, try to get only access to the seconds or to the minutes and then the access becomes cleaner. We can also ignore some of the uh, labels here. So we only after every fifth tick or after every tenth tick, we write out the, uh, the time. But this is maybe, this I will explain maybe in one of the next tutorials. This is only, or this tutorial was meant to show that it's very simple to really plot any kind of data file that somebody gives you or that you take out of an experiment or something. In this, in this case, we did it for the temperature which the sensor of my CPU measured for all the cores. Yeah? So this was very simple. I hope that you enjoyed the video, that you learned something and that you can apply this for your own measurements which you make. Yeah, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. As usual, please subscribe my channel if you have not done so far. And uh, yeah, hopefully see you soon for a new video.